What kind of an environment is this? Is this a natural environment? What about this? How about this one? Would this be a natural environment? Would this be a natural environment? No, because remember, when something is made by humans, like big buildings, it is called a constructed environment. We are going to stick with natural environments today for our picture. Hello, amazing artists. The first thing you're going to want to do is make super sure that your name and your teacher's name is on the back of your green piece of paper. Then you're going to make sure that you glue on your tiger's head using dot dot, not a lot, around the edges of your page. Then you're going to give it a nice back rub so that's really stuck on. Then we're going to make our leaves. So you can use these tracers to trace around your leaves. I want you to make sure you put them at the very corner so you can fit two on each page. Then you can freestyle or draw some of your own kind of leaves in the empty space in the other corners. Maybe you want some smaller leaves or some differently shaped leaves. Then you can cut those leaves out from your page. Once you are totally finished cutting all of your leaves out, we're going to think about where we're going to put them and what details that we could add. I want you to be very intentional. That means on purpose about where you want to put your leaves around your tiger. So I want you to place them on your page, figuring out where you want them to go, making sure that you don't cover your tiger's face too much with the leaves. Then I want you to use oil pastels to add some details to those leaves, like the veins in real leaves outside. I like to draw one line down the middle and then some lines going out. If they don't show up very well with white, like on the painted kind of paper, you could try using black so those lines show up a little bit better on your leaves. Then you're going to use glue, dot, dot, not a lot, to start gluing those on one by one, making sure that they go exactly where you want them to on your paper. Remember, remember, my rule for glue is dot, dot, not a lot. We don't need any glue on the middle. We only need it on the very edges of our papers. Then, as always with glue, we want to flip it over and give it a very nice back rub. Ooh la la, paper likey. <laughs> Make sure you use your flat high five hand when you give your paper a back rub all over the edges and the middle. We want to make sure that we are using a flat high five hand, using the palm of your hand on the back of the page, and going in circles with your hands. We don't want to pound on our paper like this. Oh, no, no, that's not going to work quite the same way. We want to give it a gentle back rub with a high five hand. Then, if you have any empty spaces around your leaves, you can use your pink piece of paper, your pink and purple pages, 
to draw some flowers and cut them out. Sometimes flower petals are a little bit tricky. So if you have a hard time turning your scissors around, let me know and I can help you out. Then you're just going to glue on your beautiful flowers in whatever spaces you want those to go. And then we can work on making a tail for our tigers. Adding some stripes and cutting out the tail. Then we're going to make sure that we glue that on. It's kind of like a wavy candy cane shape. So find a space where that will fit. And then you want to glue your tiger's tail on your page as well. Make sure that when you're finished, you double check that everything's glued down really well and then twist your glue cap shut. You want to make super sure you do this so that we can keep the glue really nice for the next person who uses it. Or if you used your own, of course the next person would be you. So be kind to your future self <laughs> and shut your glue cap. Here are the steps in case you forget. <laughs>